5CA from Ars Garage. Uh, in the comments the other day, I saw someone asking why the 2JZ block or 2JZ dart block didn't have side bolts going through the main. So we're at the machine shop. We're going to take a look at a few different types of blocks uh, over the sum of probably 50 or 60 years and see how different engine blocks have the main caps attached to the block to retain the crankshaft. This is a short skirt two bolt main V8 engine. So you have the cap standing up out of the block with only the registers and the material above the registers helping stabilize the cap. So this will be the weakest of the configurations we look at today. Here's another variation of a short skirt block and this is a four bolt main splay cap. It's the big box Chevy and the inner bolts just go straight down into the main webbing whereas the outside bolts are out of the dangle, which helps stabilize the cap a lot. So a lot of the early engines that were short skirt, if you could get a splayed cap on the block, you're hitting somewhere. Here's another variation of engine block. This is a deep skirt two bolt main block. So this is stronger than a short skirt two bolt main block because you have these piers of material that head up from the main journal into the pan rail, making it a stronger component. This is actually a 440 Dodge. It's an old school Dodge big block. This is an engine that a lot of us are familiar with. This is a 4G63 Mitsubishi, and it is both a deep skirt block with a integrated girdle. So all of the main caps are joined into one component here. And this is the precursor to a bed plate design. Here's another configuration. This is a late model LS engine. So what you see here is a lot what you'd see in a Coyote. You have a four bolt cap that has side bolts. So it is not only a deep skirt block, but the block has cross bolts that are gonna come in through the sides and help stabilize the main cap. And last but not least, this is a bed plate engine. So at the parting line of the main journal, this whole bed plate comes off the engine block, uh, like you'd see on like a modern Honda K series. And this is what a lot of people think is the best way to retain a crankshaft. Uh, Servicing is a little bit tricky. So in a race car, depending on the race car and how often you are servicing the mains, it's not ideal because you have to fully disassemble the engine to get the bed plate back off. But in an OEM configuration, most modern engines are gonna lean on this because you get a lot of material on the other side of the main bearing. So your main cap is this whole piece of material and it does an excellent job of mitigating movement and shape. And also a lot of late model blocks not this one in particular, because this is a bullet aluminum block for a Jay-Z, but a lot of late model blocks, the block itself doesn't have a ton of integrity and the bed plate is adding a lot of structure to the engine block. So it pays dividends, much like a girdle would stabilize a set of main caps, a bed plate stabilizes an engine block. <laughs>